Hi guys, Lindsay here with Storybrooke Family Farm. So a few of you have actually reached out to me to find out what the doctor had to say about the collarbone issue, because I did, in the last video I mentioned that I was going to get ready to go to the doctor to get another opinion on this. Um, so the orthopedic doctor I went to, he's a very experienced one. He's like the head of the orthopedic office that I went to and stuff, that that's literally all they do is just injury stuff. Um, so he's an older guy and he said that I was actually only his third patient ever to have this issue. Um, so clearly this is a very common problem. Um, so what he hypothesized has happened, you know, he didn't, he didn't send me for MRIs or anything like that, but you know, he does know his stuff. Um, he said that what happened was the cartilage disc that's right here that runs on the end of the collarbone, um, so that way it protects the collarbone from friction where the sternum is at, that the cartilage disc got destroyed. So he said that it's either probably in pieces or just sort of ground down to nothing or that it actually like did some weird thing. Um, so, which, this isn't the first time that I've had a weird issue with my cartilage discs doing something like that. Um, several years ago, I found out that my jaw on this side no longer has any cartilage in it, um, that somehow the disc sort of eroded off of the bone there. And then on this side here, the cartilage disc actually was partially removed and like sticking up like a big old flap um, that the jaw surgeon actually told me would eventually fall off. Um, so, you know, I assume that when he was saying about the cartilage discs, it's probably the same sort of situation. Um, but so he said that basically what my body is going to do is it's not able to actually heal this injury. What it will do is send a massive amount of scar tissue to that area to essentially create a natural fusion. Um, but he said that it's going to be painful for several months still, and that it's literally going to take several months for this to happen, for it to finish up and heal the rest of the way. Well, use itself. Um, so that's kind of sucky that it's not like something that's just going to be an easy fix type thing that there's literally nothing that can be done at this point. Um, he said that he can give me a shot of cortisone in a couple of months if it's still really bothersome and stuff. But he said that most likely the shot's literally just going to hurt like hell and that it's probably not going to work. So obviously not really worth doing that option. Um, and he said that if in a few months, if this is still really bad and bothering me, then he can send me for a surgery consult um, to a different surgeon that's in Cincinnati, which is about four hours from where I live. Uh, he said that the surgery is something that they're going to try to avoid at all costs because it can actually be a life-threatening surgery due to all the special veins and arteries and nerves that are in this area and stuff. And, you know, obviously this is not a very common condition to have. It's not a common issue to have. So it's also very, like, there's not a lot of research on what to do um, and how to really get in there good. So, yeah, I'm kind of kind of bummed out about that. Um, he also put me on a weight restriction, so on this left side, I cannot lift anything over 10 pounds. Um, and he said that if anything causes any discomfort, any pain, I have to stop doing that immediately. So I can't lay on that side. I can't use this arm for very much of anything in terms of, like, trying to push myself up on anything. Um, it's very hard for me to like grab a hold of the goats and try to, you know, keep them more contained and corralled. Uh, basically any movement that actually moves the collarbone area a good bit is very uncomfortable to do. Um, so as long as I stay pretty relatively still on that side, which is hard for me because I'm a very animated person, I move around a lot. Um, as long as I keep this whole area pretty well stiffened up and not moved much, then it's not too bad. Um, but it's very difficult to have a homestead and basically be down an arm but you know you can still move it and stuff a little bit so it's just kind of kind of weird um so when I did therapy yesterday uh, the physical therapy assistant kept trying to give me different exercises and pretty much all the different exercises that she had either hurt this shoulder or hurt the collarbone <laughs> or hurt this shoulder because I have a lot of issues with my shoulders so that's been fun um, she actually said that she had to message and talk with the physical therapy before my next session, the physical therapist before my next session, um, to try to see what on earth she can actually do for me to help me because the physical therapist also has banned me from doing any movements that cause my chest to go outward at all. So I'm, one of my exercises actually is to retrain my body how to breathe using my diaphragm. So that way I'm 
basically expanding the lower ribs instead of the upper ribs to try to get all of this to calm down. So that's kind of fun. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's a booger, it's a bummer, um, and I'm just sort of rolling with the punches, I suppose. I mean, there's not really, not really anything else that we can do except for, you know, try to keep it safe and protected, which really, really is a bummer for me because I was hoping that with going to the orthopedic surgeon that, you know, maybe it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Like, you know, when you look up stuff on the internet, things can make you panic. And I am a chronic researcher. I love to research things. I love to learn about things. I love to figure things out. So when I have a problem, I like to figure it out and try to fix it and stuff. Everything that I read online talked about how dangerous this can be and how rare of an injury this is and how this is so uncommon that most doctors won't even know what it is and stuff. So to then find out from an actual doctor that actually knows what this is and all that stuff, to find out that he won't even do the surgery, that it's a really big deal, that I have to really keep this thing protected, it's kind of a bummer because I'm one of those people that just pushes through obstacles and difficulties and struggles and things of that nature to just basically ram my way through it and get to the other side. And this is one of those things where I cannot do that. Um, so yeah, kind of sucky. Um, but I am glad though too, that he's very much against giving me any sort of a surgical issue going on because that kind of just scares the bejesus out of me. So yeah. All right. I gotta go. I gotta get busy. I gotta get the goats some more treats cut up. Um, I'm surprised they're not screaming at me up here because Normally when they see me up here, they just kind of go berserk until I, until I hurry up and get them some goodies. Um, so off to picking thorny things, I suppose. So anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.